welcome to today's youtube video in today's video i will teach you how to use the django messages library to display or flash messages in your front end so right now we're going to write some code that is going to display a message under this uh under this welcome to the proton guys channel anytime we click this button so anytime we click this button a message is going to be displayed right here so let's get right into it uh i would like to show you the code to this front end i wrote so this is it uh it's just a very basic page this is a h1 tag and right under the h1 tag we have a form tag now inside this form there's just a button that is the button that we can see displayed right here and the form has a method of post so anytime we click this button it sends a post request to the back end so let's get uh right into the main code of the day so when we come to the uh, back end, we first need to import the messages library. So we're going to say from django.country uh, import messages. Now, after importing that, we also need to import one more thing. From the top here, uh, from django.shortcut, we also need to re import redirect. So I'm going to show you why we're going to use redirect. Here I uh, already written earlier, if request.method is equal to post, that is if the request that is coming in from the front end is a post request, then execute this um, code inside here. So we're going to say if request or method is equal to post, then we're going to say messages.success uh, and then open parenthesis. We're going to pass in requests. After passing in requests, I will put a comma there. And then in quotes, you type whatever message you want to display in the front end. So I am going to type um, subscribe, sorry, yes. subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to return redirect to the particular template as the particular template for where we want this message to be displayed. So I'm going to say return redirect and then what we need to pass in here is the name of the URL that will give this particular view. Now if I come to my URLs of pipe, this is the URL that is returning that particular view which is this uh, home view. So right here I gave the URL a name home. So that is what I'm going to use in the redirect parenthesis. So inside return redirect I'm going to pass in home. So ju let's just save this. Now after doing this, we now actually need to go to the template where we want this message to be displayed and write some code that is going to actually grab this message and display it. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to write a conditional and say if messages, that is if any message is coming in. So we need to uh, put an end if right here. Don't forget, anytime you create an if block in uh, in a template in Django, don't forget to um, close the block. So after doing that, we also now need to create a for loop and say for message in messages. And then, of course, we need to close the for block, the for loop block. So we're going to say end for. So after passing in this, we're now going to... Um, create a h1 tag and then inside here we're going to pass in messages a message rather so in the for loop we're looping through any message that's coming in and then for every message that's coming in we want it to be displayed in this h1 tag so let's put some br tags right here to put enough space so that is right about uh, all the code you need to write for us to actually use the django messages library to display message in our front end and this is all the code we need to write on the back end so if we now come back to this uh, template file and reload anytime i click this continue button you can see subscribe to my channel thank you has been displayed on this same page now let's refresh and try that again let's hit continue so it has been displayed on uh on the front end from the back end so thank you for watching my video guys if you like seeing content like this please don't forget to like share and subscribe and come back for more videos stay tuned for more thank you for watching